Predator has a fully operational and muled up expansion. Already orbital commanded, everything, the works. Two barracks already up and another two in the works. One just completed, that's three barracks already going and a little army of immortals and sentries. Ah, but this might even the tide in the economy race with a third expansion. Or a second expansion, depending on how you want to word it. A third base coming up for first and last. On the rich mineral field, no less. That will certainly even up the late expansion of Protoss. It seems like first and last didn't really... It was, it was going up there, it was going to have a look, see if they could have a little bit of a skirmish. Didn't really find much, decides to retreat them back. That's fair enough. A nice SCV on the Zilnaga Watchtower. Just um, scoping out, you will indeed see that expansion of the Rich Mineral Field, and those Hellions will be enough to get rid of it, with no major resistance anywhere close, only quite slow Immortals and Sentries, they're not going to get there in time to assist that base. And first and last is forced to cancel construction of the Nexus. Quite lucky that it was only in construction, because if it had not been, it would have um, cost him 400 minerals for nothing. 500 if you include the pylon. First and last, not really bothering to go to the defense of that pylon, rightfully so. Another proxy pylon. Oh dear, he might lose. Oh no, just out of range, which is quite lucky because he didn't actually realize that was coming up there. And he will lose that pylon. I'd only just mentioned it and it's already going to go down. But yeah, I was quite lucky with that observer though. Wasn't actually controlling it. But it managed to get itself out of the way. A sensible maneuver from Terran there, just dotting the occasional missile turret around the base just to oust any observers. And that probe will not get far at all. Nope. If you look at the income, fairly even buff gas and minerals. Terran will no doubt burst because of the mules, but other than that, fairly equal buff players having a solid two expansions up. What have we got going here then? What have we got in production here? Templar and the increased um, starting energy of Templar? Has he actually got any temper at the moment? He does, just the one at the moment. Doesn't seem like there's any more around, no. And he's got the Dark Shrine, but no that Templar currently um, on the field. Researching level 2 ground weapons and even seem to do the first one. And it seems that Predator is going all out on those ground force upgrades. And the vehicle upgrades as well. Researching um, infantry weapons level 1, infantry armor level 2 the Infernal Pre-Igniter for the Hellions, and the Combat Shield has already just finished. Quite a lot of production for Terran at the moment. Not surprising out of four barracks, a starport, and two factories. It appears to have two engineering bases as well, I'm not quite sure, is it just the one? Just the one. sizable amount of Marines, Marauders, Hellions and Medivacs coming down to the attempted expansion of first and last again, but once again shut down. Some Vikings in there as well. Oh, and a Sonic Storm on top, that's absolutely devastating, that really stung. But unfortunately, not, just not enough units of um, first and last to be able to take down the remnants of that. Oh, that's going to work as well. Ouch. Not enough remaining forces of Predator to continue the push, but certainly repelled him back for the moment. Very nasty Sonic Storm usage there. And another expansion of Predator going up. Maybe he'll, he'll have a bit more luck than what First and Last has had with his expansion so far. Not much dice for First and Last's expansion, consistently being shut down by... Um, well, superior scouting from Predator, to be honest. Predator's usually at the Zilnaga Watchtower, he sees it coming up every time. Or oh, these Vikings as well, he's got pretty good scouting. 
definitely superior recon. And what are these marines at at the moment? They're at 1-1. One, one. Siege tanks in the works, more infantry upgrade and armour upgrades. No, he does have two engineering bays. God knows where the other one is at, but it's somewhere. It's somewhere. I'm curious to where it is. Where are you, engineering bay? Oh, there we go. Right next to each other. It's on a different angle, is that? <laughs> Looks like a fucking different building, almost. And that could be a nice clash going on here, but I suspect that first and last... Oh, I don't know, with those temples there, that's definitely going to even things out. And those hellions drop very, very quickly. Siege tank behind the trees, very hidden, very sneaky, but it seems like first and last is onto it. Siege tank does its job, though. And Preddy emerging with a superior force, so... Oh, that's going to work! Double Sonic Storm right on top, and the don't move out of the way anywhere near in time. Ooh, a nice medivac save there. Those marauders would have indeed gone down very fast. Nice medivac save. Not an awful lot of um, units got out of that fight for Preddy there, but two is better than none. Hell of a lot of production always going on for Preddy. Considering the, um, the aggression in the attacks as well as the mass production, the guy's got some serious micro. And another two barracks coming up for Predator. And another factory. So what's that going to increase his barrack total to six and three factories? With the two engineering bays and the one starport. Very nice. And an expansion attack from first and last via the epoxy pylon warping in a hell of a lot of Templar. That is going to stink. Ooh, those SCBs are going to get you fucked. And a planetary fortress is going to do some serious damage there as well. That's a fair amount of burnt energy on the SCVs. It's done its job and it's shut down that expansion for the time being, but he's not going to be able to get that planetary fortress down. I don't think before he gets attacked into the rear. He does see the rear attack though, and he is going to get that planetary fortress down. So regardless of whether he loses this force or not, he's done his job here. And he does a, a sizable amount of damage that Marina Marauder force before going down. First and last, not complaining about that attack at all, that's a lot of SCV damage, that planetary fortress went down and he took a sizable chunk out of that Marina Marauder force. Which will stop Preddy from counter-attacking. If you look at the army size, turns 115 supply to processes 87. So a fair amount of difference, but Protoss is managing to bring it back up again. Pretty seems to think that it probably can counter-attack, and to be honest, with those three ghosts and EMP, as well as a fairly decent amount of Medivax Marines and Marauders, maybe he can pull that off quite well. Only 20 supply difference in the army sizes at the moment. Less than 20 now. Protoss doing a really good job of reinforcing. Upgrades coming out for Protoss. They are currently at level 2 on ground weapons. No armor upgrades yet though. Or shield. Whereas Predators are 2-2, two, two, which is quite nasty. Vehicles at 0-1. Very evil psionic storm usage there. Ripping huge chunks out of the Terran Force. With those photon cannons and some nice sonic storm usage, he might be able to repel that attack. On the other hand, he might not. Oh, that Sonic Storm is definitely turning the tide, though. Especially with Benelta warping reinforcements. That's that's last Sonic Storm definitely turned that. Very nice indeed. And even with Medivacs there now reinforcements, Prey decides it's time to get the fuck out of there. Rightfully so. Both players now having completely drained their main base and almost the second expansions. Prey well, first expansion. I always get confused. It's like, second expansion? Well, it's not really. It's the first expansion, isn't it? Second base, first expansion. But, 
Pretty's first expansion all but completely mined out now. <laughs> 